A major Saudi corporation has cleared away tons of waste from the Jubail port and surrounding beaches in the massive campaign to rehabilitate facilities and protect marine life. 1,000 employees of the Saudi Iron and Steel Company, a manufacturing affiliate of the Saudi Basic Industries Corporation, were involved in the campaign. The operation covered Jubel Fishing Port, Abu Ali Island and Marduma Beach and was part of the SABIC's Corporate Social Responsibility Strategy. The first phase began with the cleanup of the fishing port of Jubel and rehabilitation of some port facilities from October 28 to the November 10. Tens of tons of contaminated waste and broken vessels that had been ashore for decades were removed from the beach using heavy equipment and a fleet of small boats in coordination with the border guard. The Hadid employees split up into small groups and shared the responsibility for carrying out the huge task. The Jubel port is an important center for fishing, supplying the eastern province, Riyadh and the Gulf states with a variety of fish. The campaign covered an area of 2,000 square meters of the port seafront. The workers removed discarded fishing nets, thick ropes in the sea and strung along the beach rocks, metal wires, rubber hoses, pipes, timber, discarded oars, old tires, oil cans, various containers, bags, metal equipment and glass bottles. They also collected for disposal rotting dead fish and piles of other refuse floating along the coast and in the deep sea. The campaign included the restoration of selected port facilities including a mosque, the main gate and the storerooms. The workers also repaired and painted fences, concrete barriers, lamp posts, sidewalks and electricity rooms. Construction work related to port services were also carried out. The workers restored the natural colors of the beach rocks by removing harmful algae and floating oil. Team of volunteers distributed educational literature in various languages among the fishermen, highlighting the importance of maintaining port facilities and marine life. Banners and signboards were erected and trash bags distributed as a part of the cleanup drive. The second and the third phases of the campaign included cleaning Abu Ali Island, an area of 10 kilometers, and the Marduma Beach. The aim is also to attract more tourists to the area. The Hadid employees held a pictorial exhibition to highlight the various cleaning stages. Tits and bits of short stories. The Sari Ke Fall soundtrack from Shahid Kapoor Sunakshi Sina star Raj Kumar, rendered by Antara Mitra along with Nakash Aziz, is making waves. Besides Kaddu Katari, which is picturized on Sonoon Sood with two girls. Antara says that Pritam Da, the composer, is someone who gives the singers full freedom to excel and explore. The songs have turned out well. Sunakshi Sina is one of the new generation actresses I like. It was really nice to sing for her. When I saw the picturized song, I was very happy with the way it was turned out and she said. Antara has also acted as a lead in Ekta Kapoor's horror series, Koi Aane Ko Hai. Christmas nearing now, cake mixing was held in Ocean Pearl ceremoniously, one of the most reputed hotels in Mangalore. CEO Ramanjeet of the Ocean Pearl Group flagged off the cake mixing through pouring wine over cake mix. 24 days from now, this cake would be placed on the service of the customers said Mr. B. N. Girish, General Manager of Ocean Pearl. Agnel Rodriguez, Senior Journalist, was a Chief Guest on the occasion, talked of Ocean Pearl cake mixing. Ocean Pearl Assistant General Manager Biju Wargis and other clerical staff were present. <music> Journalists being assaulted accused over alleged molesting somebody in Whitla, certain parties attempting to ascribe the responsibility over the members of the Popular Front of India. The Mangalore Zonal President Ataullah Jokate condemned the allegation, roping them into the matter for no valid reasons. Addressing the press conference, Ataullah Jokate stated that the attempt to malign the PFI over all the causes of assault, such as the one over Deja Papujari, the assault over a young lover in Hampankate, and now the case of assault over journalists in Whitla. He made it clear that they condemned this kind of attitude by certain act of Sangha factions due to their vested interest and prejudice towards them. Shafi Bellare, Haider Nirsal, Zakaria, Sharif Koraje and others were present at the press conference. <music> Bahujana Samaj Party held a protest in front of the DC office insisting that the landless be given land endorsing the provision for allocating land to those who have been occupying the land through their prolonged occupation in the place inhabited by them. BSP Association Secretary Raghu Dharmasena, addressing the public on the occasion, accused that the land allocated to the SC groups through the British in Mysore government through the DC has been encroached by other people than the SCs. 
He insisted that the government need to make land available to the landless SC and STs. That's it for now, but before we wrap up, let's have a look at the headlines once again. Electrocuted Sulia lineman Devi Prasad died in hospital. Compensation agreed. Kadeka Ranjita murder case. Family sets ultimatum for arrest. Naxal affected area development. DC Prakash orders Bawpoo to work. Saudi Jubal Port Beach. Tons of waste removed. Singing for Sanakshi, Antara fully elated. Ceremonious Christmas cake mixing held at Ocean Pearl. Attacking on lovers at Sangha attitude, PFI no hand in assault on journalists. Demanding land to SC and SC, Bahujana Samaj Party holds protest. We'll see you tomorrow with English news, but stay tuned to V4 News 24-7 for live news and updates coming your way in all regional languages including Kannada, Tulu and much more. You can also watch us live on www.v4news.com. This is me, Madhu, saying Namaskar.